Hi, thanks for staying with us. Now, we all know what anger is, and we've all felt it, whether as a fleeting annoyance or as full-fledged rage. Anger is completely normal, usually healthy, um, a healthy human emotion. But when it gets out of control and turns destructive, it leads to um, problems, to problems at work, in your personal relationships, in your overall quality of life. So what is anger management and how can we be more kind to each other? Um, that's the conversation for today. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 01 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with a hashtag Wayshow. <laughs> It seems like you have a lot of things to say. No. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's... Um, do I want to share? I don't want to share. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> but today... Ah. Ah. Today. Hmm. You are tested. Ah, no, no, no. I was really tested. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me hold my peace. Mary. <laughs> well, how do you manage anger? Because, again, anger is not... Sorry, it's not a wrong. Sorry, it's not a bad emotion. No, it's not. So a lot of times, yeah. I see people associate anger that is ne a negative, negative emotion. Negative. It's not. There is good anger. Like you can really, literally, be angry about something to the extent that you want to change that. So thing. it motivates you. Yeah, it mot Yeah, it can motivate you to do something. Yeah. But every time people talk about anger, they tend to associate anger with negativity, mm. right? I just wanted to put out that out there anger is not is a healthy emotion you know because it can get you to do so many things like you can actually bring positive change a lot of people are upset about how things are going they have invented things just because the thing was just getting them upset mm. you know so anger is a good feeling it's not a bad thing right it is when you now go to that left where full-blown rage you're not able to control yourself and all of that that's where it now becomes a problem um, I remember that many years ago, I attended a training, um, the NLP training, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and it just helped to just bring your life in front of you. So you now begin to put dots together and calculate, okay, this is why I act this way. This is what the triggers are, you know? Mm. So, I mean, if you understand yourself to that extent, self-awareness, will you now understand what triggers you know, somebody can say something. It doesn't mm. really move you. Mm. Like if somebody does this thing to me, mm. honestly, you're wasting your time. <laughs> it, like I have never associated a meaning to it. To me, it doesn't mean anything to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if you do this to somebody else, <laughs> ah, <laughs> you know, again, so that's to tell you that it's not so much of the action. It is what we have, the meaning mm. that we have given to it. So that's why in NLP, they'll tell you that nothing means anything mm -hmm. except yeah. the meaning you give to it yeah. so if somebody says mm -hmm. um, mary you're an idiot if mm. you gave idiot and a meaning mm. that is when it affects you mm. but if you don't give idiot a meaning it doesn't affect you you can just look at idiot it's okay is it an animal or something you can you can def redefine it mm. so it just that helps you to always be in control of your emotions to always respond to situations because when I see people go to the extreme with anger, it's because they are being reactive, mm. right? If you're in a position where you respond at all times, you would always, always have yeah. your emotions in check. Mm -hmm. So, as I've checked my emotions, <laughs> let me check your emotions. So, okay. Tell me. Um, okay, first of all, to me, anger tells me how out of alignment I am with myself. Mm. I am aware of anger to the extent that I know that nothing good can come out of this. If I'm angry at someone, I'm not my best, I'm naturally a happy person. So when I'm angry, I know that something is wrong. I don't have the best ways to cope with it because I wear my emotions on my sleeve and it's pretty much very obvious. If I'm angry, if I'm moody, you just know that something is off with this girl. And I also have a very contagious energy, which is you know, it just seems that see, the people around me are also feeding off that. What is, what are you angry about? But what I do is I take time to talk to myself and look at the root cause of things. For me, I've noticed that um, a lot of the issues for anger is deeply rooted. 
is not a surface issue. Sometimes there are probably childhood traumas that uh, so have, are your triggers. Yes, that that you know that has been inside of me and I've not been able to express it. You know, because I maybe you've been shot i've been shut down a lot mm. so many times you know so because i don't know how to express it i just say you know what let me just keep quiet but keeping quiet is not the issue no nope. rather than learning how to communicate your point so i've had instances with my manager where she says something to me and i'm reading this thing over and over and it's sounding so wrong in my head i'm thinking god help me because how do i respond to this because my response is going to be taking a different way so i can control it sometimes you know sometimes i just rather not talk if i don't have a better way of responding or i like to share you know like today before we came mm -hmm. on air you know i was sharing my because i like to see a different point of view what do you think what uh, you know what could i have done better and someone you know said oh what you did was wrong i think you need to apologize and i said okay you know what maybe that was a dismissive behavior so maybe i should apologize so i would own up to it and i also like people around me to tell me you know because if people around me are keeping quiet as well and holding to themselves i'm not going to be able to change but i'm you also get better yeah i can't get better but you need to learn constructive criticism as well because if you just come and shout on me me too i'll shout on you <laughs> I, don't know how to, I don't know how to do that you know but i take out time to reflect you know on my responses could i have done this better you know road rage a driver is driving and i'm just saying why are you angry mary what's the problem you know you are late you just admit that you you're late because of yourself if you fly now you are not going to get there so just you know i just tell myself calm down listen to some music jam up to it and just be like oh yeah be the bigger person you know so okay okay easy mama this is always smiling <laughs> I, I don't think i've ever seen easy angry or you are you are pretending to us which one <laughs> no i have my moments like i've always told you say one i pick my fights mm. i pick my fights um there is a, a saying that says that uh, you anger is what you give is the weapon you give to others the, no is the is the there's a way they said it is the strength you give to others to have a power over, over you, you yeah power over you basically that's what they were trying to say so for you to get me angry it's that uh, you must be really you must be the love of my life and you must make me really love you to death so i like i always say i pick my fights there are like you always you said earlier when you talked about um connoting meanings to things if somebody says you're an idiot, are you really an idiot at the end of the day? No, you're not an idiot. So basically, um, I think anger is subject to situation, basically, for me. It is not something I just go I go in head on and, you know, flip over for no just cause. I pick my fight, I take my time before I react. So when I'm reacting, I know in every ramification I'm justified. But I want to look at anger from a holistic point of view, basically, not from a personal point of view. Okay? We have uh, principles, basically, and the value principles we have as a people is what actually takes us to believe in what we believe in or what we intend to say, okay, this is what I believe I should have. So we have it as being humans, basically. So when we have um, uh, that value system, that value system is what guides us to say, are we going to react in a particular way or are we going to take something to heart? So it's not, it's not um, overcoming it in the context that is utopian. It's not utopian to overcome anger, but it's how you react to a situation. That's why I said it is subject to situation, basically. Mm. So I believe that you treat people the way you want to be treated. If you do not treat people the way you want to be treated, that means that whatever happens happens hmm. humanistically looking at it from that perspective i think that we as individuals are supposed to um take it a day at a time get to understand the perspective of where that other person is coming from um have compassion have uh, human understanding 
have um, certain experiences with that person and look at it from the person's perspective, humanistically possible for us to be able to absorb or imbibe what the person is talking about so that we don't react in a particular way to that person. Mm. So anger management is not subject to just a person, it's subject to an environment, it's subject to a cultural belief, it's subject to you as a person and the value you ascribe to certain things and the principles you have. Mm, absolutely. All right, so let me come to you, NJ. Um, I would take this from a different point because um, everyone is taking it from a personal point, but I just want to uh, take anger from, I feel like the different approach to anger and one of it is expressing how you feel, where you actually either, like um, Easy said, talk to the person and let them know how you feel, what exactly is going wrong, what is expected, what you're probably expecting or what you were expecting, hence the reason why you were disappointed. Another name for anger, yeah? And another one is suppressing. Now for me personally, sometimes I, a lot more times I used to suppress. Just like Mary said, have your own opinion, internalize, do your own an an analysis and keep to yourself. Make whatever changes you want to make internally and try and avoid situations that get you to that point. And after a while, I found the need because you cannot be diplomatic for so long. Mm -hmm. Because, and the reason why for s most people suppression is because you either don't want to have to confront it because it can escalate. I have situation, I've been in situations where I've tried to confront it and it escalated. And I'm like, okay, this was not the intention from the onset. So sometimes I feel better when I either walk away and then revisit it later when I'm a bit, you know, better tempered. And some, but most of the time I find myself suppressing it. And from what um, Mary said, it's very, very important for us to learn how to do less suppression and more expression or calming down. By calming down, which is another approach to it, is just after internalizing, which is done in, I even in your subconscious. So just telling yourself that you always be in control of any situation irrespective of what the situation is. Mm -hmm. So that's calming yourself even before you come across such situations. And I feel like it's the best place to be because when you're in that state of mind, even though it's the hardest place to be, because it, it's even more annoying when you, you're supposed to be, when someone is supposed to be angry at something and then you see the person you know, not reacting, not giving you that reaction. Mind that reaction. Yes. So a lot of people, that even escalate in itself, escalates the entire situation. So you hear people uh, in situations saying, I don't even understand she's why you're smiling. Even, she's not even I don't even muscle. understand why you're not reacting. Mm -hmm. Because people most of the time want mm -hmm. these things to escalate to the point where they have to physical. say things, either physical. Physical is even the last approach, in my opinion. Because by the time you enter physical, it means that you're not able to suppress, you're not able to calm down, and the next thing is violence. Mm -hmm. Because physical always ends up in violence most of the time, or trouble. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very, very important for us to learn how best, first of all, to thyself be true. It's very important for you to learn how you deal with anger on a, as an individual. Then you find the best possible way or best approach that suits you in order to actually approach this anger, which is expressing at the point, first of all, calming down. I feel my, if I want to go through the approaches, I'll feel mine would be calm down, of which analyze suppression, the analyze the situation, suppress it at that time, because really reacting at that time would not be good. Mm -hmm. So suppress it and then express it much later when you're able to put your thoughts together and the person is actually calm and you guys can have a conversation that would result in something positive at the in end of the way. day. So mm. for, for me, I would say it's always very important to control anger so that anger does not control you. Mm. I had a friend and... In, and this was this used to happen in church. She used to get really upset at everything, like almost everything was a fight. And I used to tell her, why would you let someone else be in charge of your emotions? It's very, it puts you in a very difficult spot. Yeah. It means that mm -hmm. everyone has your button. At any point in time, I want to everyone here to think you're mad. I just press that button and you just <coughs> go off and I'm like, you see, 
she's not normal. So it's, it's very, very important for you to be in control of your emotions. That helps exactly. you to be able to make the right decisions at the right time. You know when to walk away. You know when to actually confront where needed. Maybe if the situation is not so, will not get so escalated. You just confront it if immediately and deal with the situation. Self, there's no even need to You engage. suppress it and you walk you away. <laughs> You know what? I would like us to take a break, right? I would like to open our phone lines. Um, because now, Nigerians are angry with our leaders, right? And it seems like everybody is taking it out on each other. So I want to understand how best we can be a lot more kinder to each other. Because the, the country is already tough. The economy is slapping you from the left. Government is doing this, you know. There's a lot going on, you know. And I think emotions are on very heightened right now. Ah. A lot of people, you know. So... Let's find ways that we can help ourselves, you know, to rise above, you know, anger. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Thank you for staying with us now. It's our ladies' night out and we're discussing anger management. See, today I'm smiling now. They say I should, I, I'm too calm. You want me to be angry. I don't want to be angry. I want to show you that I can manage anger. anger manage. <laughs> so we're asking, how can we be more kind to each other? Please let's share what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa one with hashtag Wayshow. Our phone line is now open and the number to call is 07025007749. That's the number to call. 07025007749. Please, oh. Don't let us get angry with you. Turn off <laughs> turn off the volume of whatever device you're watching us from so we can hear you when you call in to contribute. So, I mean, again, I was saying that, um, so two things that came up, you know, there are anchors. So if you have anchored a particular situation to something, anytime that thing comes up, it would, re it would trigger the anger, right? So that's why, you know, I mean, when you talked about childhood memories and all of that, it, it anchors something to you, right? You're not able to see it. You're seeing, you're trying to reflect it back to, mm -hmm. ah, this was how they used to shut me down when I was a child. Mm -hmm. I would not let it happen now. Mm -hmm. I'm an adult. Mm -hmm. So you then see yourself like literally wanting to. I was saying to someone that I have never, I don't know how people do that. They are fighting on, this, on the road. I have never done that. that one, you know? Do you, do you get my point? Look, <laughs> they, like, they won't even beat me because they won't even find me. Because me, you cannot, I will not be there. You know, like, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just so interesting how, you know, people get so low to that point. So I, I, I remember when one incident happened in my life and the person was on and off and just going all, talking all sorts of things. Me, I would just come. I think the anger was heightened more because Obviously. she was, the person was expecting that I would, re, give you a know, reaction. give a reaction, panic. I did not do all of those because you can't catch me. You understand? Because the truth is, I always, always try to make sure that I'm in control of my emotions so I will respond to you when I have to. And trust me, it's not everything I respond to. You can say what you want to say now till thy kingdom come. I will decide to be quiet or I'll decide to answer you. So That means pick your fights as well, because are you a man. Yeah, you said what? That means you Oh, pick yes, I pick. I, no, I. funny thing is, because again, it, it doesn't make any sense. It's just like somebody coming and ranting and shouting and calling, calling you mm -hmm. all sorts of names. Why do you need to respond to those kind of people or react to those kind of things? You just keep quiet. When they are done. You know, I always say to people that I love my mirror. My mirror tells me who I am. So mm -hmm. if you, you can say whatever you feel like saying about me, Osayua Mel, as long as my mirror is telling me something different, it's fine. Do you understand? So I don't even have the luxury to respond to you or even reply you or whatever. You can say whatever it is that you say. But the thing I really, I think we need to start learning, which is, yeah. I think Andy touched on it a bit. You see this issue of um, being evasive, right? Mm -hmm. I don't like a situation, something happens. Instead of you to come, go and meet the person that probably offended you and say, ah, do you know that this thing you did, you know, that would tell me that, okay, yes, this person is trying to work at a relationship. Mm. But you then avoid the person completely and then now go and you're having conversations with other people. That doesn't make any sense to I feel me. like that's also a form of gaslighting. Yes, it's gaslighting the yeah. situation. Yeah. You know? So the situation now gets escalated. You're not wondering. So when they now trace it back to the history or the, the, origin, the origin of the root of this, they're not wondering what happened. Because it was not even a big deal. 
-hmm. But you see, you then gaslight the situation and everything is just all over all over the place. You know? So I mean, more and more people need to go learn psychology. Not because they want to go and start sitting in front of and be doing psychotherapy no, work. They have but to you need to understand yes. To you need to you. you need to understand human psychology. You need to understand how the human mind works. Because when you talked about feedback, for instance, right? If I were your manager, you know, the all the, the best approach to giving feedback, for instance, is called there's a terminology for it, it's called the sandwich approach. Mm. Where you put the, 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 the sweet things, things atop, yeah. you lace it with the bitter yeah. things, right. and you put and you know, it uh, like instead, of, instead of just dishing it, dishing it out like that. And you know, you know? That, that also has a mental effect on the person because you begin to think, oh yeah, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not good enough. Because you've, you've heard that so many times. It's almost, you not even try to guard it. If someone tries to say something, in your head, you already think, I'm not good enough. So as well, I'm as well, like, as in, I don't need you to tell me. I already know what it is. Mm. But it's really not that yeah. you're not good enough. It's just that no one is telling you, you know, exactly what you're doing. Exactly what or, you're doing. And what you're doing wrong in a, in a loving in manner. In a loving manner. So how do we start to tell our government what they're doing wrong? In a loving man. You just, you just, <laughs> had, to bring, you just had to bring it in. Okay. It also, I want me, if, I, if I may chip in, um, you know, you, you talked on something earlier when you talked about hu um, human um, interaction and you also talked about the fact that Nigerians are currently upset and angry because of the situation we found ourselves. So I want to, like I talked to you earlier or I said earlier, I talked about anger management from a holistic point of view, which has to do with humanity, you know. And we as human beings, I think to a large extent, I think Nigerians have, um, they feel dehumanized, basically. So what happens when someone feels dehumanized? They react in, in whatever manner or in whatever way they, they think they can. Now, in the cause of this, I want to buttress uh, a few points on what human virtues are. What are human virtues? Human virtues are based on experiences. Human virtues are based on creativity. Human virtues are based on human right. Human virtues are based on justice, personal liberty, and humanitarianism, basically. But right now, we, do we think we have things like that? Do we feel we have things like that? Do we think we have justice in the system? Do we think that we have human rights in the system? Our voices being heard, um, our experiences, especially let's go back to the Naira crunch, how people were um, reduced to, um, <laughs> I don't want to use a very bad word, but we were reduced to the point where we just had to start thinking of how to survive. So everything about us right now is on survival mode. The only way we can retrace our steps back and, you know, not look at the anger or be uh, not being angry at the government, not being angry with one another is for us to reset our mindset. Mm. And how do we reset this mindset? It is for us to start preaching love, start preaching human rights. Start preaching what really works. Let things let, <laughs> let things work for good and not for you. Are, you are preaching Mary's language. Love. Spread yeah. the love, is yeah. he? So it still comes back to our human emotion because our No, but I think Isi. So the challenge is so the challenge is Isi, can you hear me? The challenge is years and years and years of battered emotions, right? This is what you yes. get. So at every point in time, like the person, the encounter that I had today. You can clearly tell that this person has a lot of bottled issues, like deep-seated, deep-rooted, you know, and, and it, it, it just stems from, and you know, when, when people are not well trained, so, okay, so when I see children, for instance, throwing tantrums, mm -hmm. I can tell that this one is just tantrum. So I try to, I try as much as possible to, if I'm close to the parents, I mm. guide you on how to manage yeah. it. Because if you're not able to manage tantrum as a child you grow up. what happens eventually when you grow up is that at every point in time something angers you or something just gets you're not you getting what up. you want you're right? not getting what you want so you, you will just begin to yes you begin to act up throwing a tantrum might be beating your wife might be slapping your husband 
maybe what's it called hitting somebody or fighting on the road or it can just be anything or getting a gun and going, to, or getting a gun and going to yes school, getting yeah. a gun and going to go and shoot people or you know get, getting into a, a, a knife fight those are tantrums because it is there is not see if you check it right anybody that has their emotions in check you can never catch that person on the wrong side it's not possible because there is nothing you want to do that will get that person i'm sure it's not possible on a bad day uh -uh. <laughs> so even crazy. even on that That's bad crazy. day That's right even on that bad day um nj it is still controlled as to somebody that you know has real suppressed issues, anger, suppressed anger yeah because you, know? you become passive aggressive you have this passive you know, aggressive behavior people that were even abused as children yeah. so for instance sexual abuse yes right some of these people when they grow up it actually manifests mm. as physical fight anger you know just doing anything to get attention so that's why i i don't know if we if we want to really quickly move on to solutions therapy. right do you think therapy can work yes and how receptive are nigerians to therapy we just have the cliche idea that therapy is you know is so bougie what do you need therapy for you don't need therapy it's you not know, that bad it is, yeah it's, it's yeah. very in our culture is is almost such a taboo because i'll keep referring to myself i remember the first time i mentioned this thing to my mom and she said what do you need therapy from for why do you need to go back to the past we we'll move on from the fa from the past and i just told myself i said well um i i can't really blame you because the generation you grew up with that's what you were told you know you don't think that you know don't it kill the don't don't express so even it. even i had the conversation with my manager she, she told me that you don't need um nobody needs therapy except you have someone around you who is um who is constantly talking you down and i just smiled and i said to myself because mental health is is one of the issues I would like to throw a lot of light onto the public is is what I re I enjoy talking about it and there's a thin line between how people say Gen Z's we just throw the mental health card just to get away with things but that's not true I would really like to say that a lot of us really do need therapy just so we can help ourselves to unravel this pent up anger that has been you know you have older women who are just staying in marriages because their children they get because they feel they don't have a choice and stuff mm. like that you know so if our culture can promote the fact that therapy is needed is not a cliche topic mm -hmm. is not a taboo you know we all need help and it comes in different ways and i think it's something that we should encouraged to the public. I think I've been chipping something, you know. This is going to make us laugh a little bit. Okay. You know, what Nigerians really need now is not therapy. Not give that. us light. Give us money. <laughs> Let no. us have money. No. Yeah? I totally disagree. Oh. You're going to use money yeah. and buy a gun Let and come out and shoot money. people. Oh, you see, I totally disagree. Oh. Right there are people... <laughs> Don't mind. Let's have the right Everybody will be happy. That's why they will say. There, there's one English we usually say. They will say, ah, everywhere soft, everywhere soft. When they say everywhere soft, it means things are working now. You're liquefied. <laughs> you, you, you know what I, I give up on you people. You, you take comment. Me. Take comment. Take comment. <laughs> take, <laughs> it, it that's what the Nigerians need right now. See, all humor. That's but we have a lot of that. In we have a lot of, and that's one and of, that's the, why that's why one of the reasons now. why we've been able Guess to deal what, with that's it. That's why yes. those yeah. kids, yeah. Uh, makers, are making money. a lot, lot of, of money. money. They are making, they are keeping yeah. us sane. Some days, if I just want to laugh, I just go to either Sabinus or Mr. Macaroni. <laughs> you know, there are lots now. There are just too many. You know, and they find humor in our they like. They make you laugh at the situations that are making you angry. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you just, you're just like, mm, kind of relieve you. Of I'm telling you. So, let's take comments quickly. Ladies. Okay. I have Austin from Delta. He says, the truth is that impunity stirs up anger, especially when it is derived from bare-faced lies and falsehood thrown at you like some of our government officials do brazenly. And this is the reason why there's always suspicion, trust deficits, and all sorts of conspiracy theories. Even when they discover that their once held position on an issue isn't correct, they won't apologize. However, with benefit of hindsight, there is nothing one can do now that I will react violently because I have discovered that many people in prison today was as a result of mis 
ang of, was as a result of anger mismanagement. Please walk away from toxic relationships, environments, temporarily to avoid taking actions you will eventually regret when tempers are down. Absolutely. Oh, Thank wow. you, Austin. And that's why you can't catch me. If you shout and shout and shout, I'll just be looking at you. I will never. Yeah, take, Always take good. Yes, you have to be. You have to control yourself to that point. You can't catch mm. me. In fact, it took a long time for me to start expressing how I felt. Mm. You understand? Because I want to think about it. I want to process it so that when I'm telling you, you will not miss my point. We inter will be, it will be with clarity. We internalize it. <laughs> we internalize it. <laughs> yeah. How about you, um, AC? Let me take your comment. <laughs> Okay, my comment goes first. It says, life gives us many chances to do good. So when we take those opportunities, show others why it's a more beneficial choice. And you will come to the conclusion that kindness is what makes us human in this life. This is from Raphael Zaria. Thank you, Raphael. I agree with him. Someone says, uh, failure to arrest MC Oluomo after threats to evil will breed impunity and more anger in the land. <laughs> <laughs> I will leave it there. Go ahead. Eve. Good evening, my dear uh, beautiful sisters of What Are You Saying Ways. Mm -hmm. Anger mm -hmm. management, how can we be more kind to each other? Mm -hmm. um, David Ilo says, anger is divided into two. That is good anger and bad anger. According to my dear sis uh, beautiful sister Uwa, the good anger is allowed because it is good for a good reason and it is for change to occur. When a bad anger is dangerous and it's not controlled, we might destroy things and lead to re this would lead to regrets. My dear si beautiful sister NJ said, if we do not control our anger, the same anger will control us and that is the key. We can be kind to one another if we control our anger. I also mm. love your smile, my dear beautiful sister Mary. <laughs> it is very therapeutic and charming. Do not let anyone steal your happiness. Always keep smile keep a smiling face and stay happy. My name is David Ilo. Daniel Ways, Ilo. Daniel Ilo, Ways regular fan. Thank, Thank you, Daniel. You, Daniel. Mm. So you say this smile is going to be there. I don't know for how long my own will last. <laughs> because it gets as Nigeria will do you. But I just want to just like move on. Because if you really want to look for a million and one reasons to be upset, to yeah, be lots. angry, trust me, the universe will throw you 10 billion reasons yeah. to be angry. So Absolutely. you just, you must at, at some point just draw the line and say, this is where I'm going to draw the line. No matter what happens, you know. I'm not going to get upset and all of that, you know. I don't want to happen today. Hey, hmm. <laughs> God. If I had a supernatural power, something would have, <laughs> something would have gone down. <laughs> you know. You would have gone but, physical. But I thank God. I thank God for my calmness. I thank God for my calmness. But I was, I was livid. I can imagine. Ah, I was livid. Well, hey, we, we move on. But so, I mean, so just to put it out there, please, if you have any reason to suppress you know anger and all of that there are therapists out there honestly speaking it will be very very therapeutic i always find people that i can trust to just talk to mm. you know it helps me it's and you know out. yeah it, it helps me and if you can go to the beach take a walk you know just go and clear your head play or tennis exercise. Yeah. exercise is fantastic exercise. Play, tennis. About ex yes. play tennis yeah yeah i want to join in that your tennis. no it's salsa i want to come for Tennis yeah. has been very therapeutic for me because it helped me through a difficult time. Right. But yeah, it's right. so just learn a sport. Do something. Do Put all that sport. energy into Put something Put all else. that energy into something yeah. instead of channeling that energy towards something um, negative. Because really, negative. there is so much that can happen if you are able to channel that anger the right direction. Right. Trust me, your life will be transformed. So many things I was upset about, I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to change things. And I've seen how much growth and results and I'm getting. I suppose just getting depressed, you know, be crying, holding tissue. And nobody got time for that. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Cry, crying is also an expressive uh, Well, crying is good. But I want to be crying and, you know, let the tears be happy tears. <laughs> quite, quite. <laughs> I'm, using, 
I wish my pounds and my dollars to be clean. Like Easy said, yeah, we have money, money. Then we'll cry. We don't mind, <laughs> right? But thank you so much, ladies. Um, I'm hoping that this really helps someone out there. Yeah. Let's learn to be kind to each other. Honestly, a lot of people are going through a lot, so find a reason to just you know what, spread just love. be nice, spread love. Yeah, let's follow Mary. Love. Spread love with your fine, fine smile. <laughs> <laughs> Therapeutic thank smile. Thank you, EC. Thank you, NJ. Thank you, Mary. You wouldn't commend me today. I was calm. You was too it's calm. Plan. It's a it's plan. too calm we, for we, me. Tomorrow, you may not know what I, I feel, will bring. I feel like, like, I feel like you're suppressing. <laughs> I feel like you're suppressing, so we're gonna we're gonna get an expression very soon. Well, maybe maybe she got some money. No, know. just bring money Nigeria. Just Nigeria matter is a trigger for me. <laughs> <laughs> just bring Nigeria matter. So we know we know your triggers now. We will bring Nigeria matter. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, now before we go, make sure you follow us across all our social media handles at Waysho Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. It says, Human kindness has never weakened the stamina or softened the figure of a free people. A nation does not have to be cruel to be tough. It's as simple as that. I mean, don't believe that. It's synonymous with you know, being, ah, no, you can actually be really kind and be tough. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.